In the shadow of emerging Middle Eastern tensions, there is a ripple in our economic waters. And while the White House likes to spotlight glowing economic figures, the Israeli conflict brings a fresh set of challenges. Today, we unveil the story behind the headline numbers and their global implications. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. With each White House proclamation of victory, there is often more to the story. And now with the Middle East in a new chapter, the economic narrative is even more intricate. Although the current administration likes to highlight that the U.S. currently has low unemployment, consistent consumer spending, and impressive GDP growth, delving deeper reveals other statistics not frequently discussed in mainstream narratives. Numbers like the percentage of Americans living paycheck to paycheck, 60%, or the total amount of household debt, $17.06 trillion as of the second quarter, a record high, or the number of Americans holding down two full-time jobs, 447,000, another all-time high. And here's one more, 61% the year-over-year -year rate of increase in Chapter 11 bankruptcy filings by U.S. businesses during the first nine months of 2023. From January through September, there were a total of 4,553 commercial Chapter 11 bankruptcies filed. During that same period in 2022, there were 2,837 such filings. Recent data indicates that bankruptcies are not restricted to large corporations. Small businesses, often seen as the backbone of the American economy, have felt the squeeze too. Chapter 11 filings by small enterprises amounted to 1,419 during the first three quarters of 2023. This marks a 41% rise compared to the previous year. For individuals, 2023 has witnessed an uptick in bankruptcy filings as well, with both Chapter 13 and Chapter 7 filings escalating by 17% through September. In a statement, American Bankruptcy Institute Executive Director Amy Quackenbaugh said, While still below pre-health crisis levels, the numbers of filings demonstrate the difficult challenges and growing debt loads that financially distressed families and businesses are facing in this current economic environment. The unyielding challenges of inflation, and rising interest rates have put a strain on small businesses. The Wall Street Journal highlights how severely affected they are by the Fed's relentless interest rate hikes. Small businesses tend to have less in the way of cash reserves and operate on thinner profit margins. They typically face greater challenges when it comes to raising money as well. According to a recent survey conducted by Goldman Sachs, 73% of small business owners who applied for a new loan in the past year say rising interest rates are having a negative impact on their business. Robert Gonzalez, a bankruptcy attorney out of Nashville, told the Wall Street Journal that he is receiving four times as many calls as he did last year from small businesses thinking about filing bankruptcy. Gonzalez said, 
we are just at the front end of the impact of these dramatically higher interest rates. There are going to be plenty of small businesses that are over leveraged. In a world where the geopolitical landscape is ever shifting, understanding subtle economic shifts is crucial. Keep questioning, keep learning, and let's navigate these economic waters together. Until next time.